From the outside, this bungalow on a quiet street in Hamilton seems like any other. But on the inside, this two-bedroom home listed for $285,000 looks frightening. Filled with garbage and debris and who knows what else. But despite the damage, this gut job sold for $423,000. There was plenty of interest in this property from potential buyers. Neighbors tell me they saw dozens of people coming by just to give it a look. The home was bought sight unseen as the conditions inside were too terrible to allow anyone in. No one wanted to speak on camera, but neighbors say the power and heat have long been disconnected and no one has lived here for years. Some neighbors were absolutely shocked by the sale price, but renovated homes nearby have sold for more than 500000 and the average sale price in a half a kilometer radius from the home is over 850000 we're seeing these extraordinary numbers in terms of property gains. McMaster economics professor Marvin Ryder says home prices in Hamilton are seeing gains of 10% or more compared to last year, as historically low interest rates are pushing people to buy despite the uncertainty of the pandemic. Some of the lowest numbers we've seen in the history of Canada. So that's driving the market. People who thought they might want to get in, um, they've got a great incentive. Ryder says increased interest in investing in flipping homes due to those low rates is also driving up prices and demand, as is the flood of people from the GTA who are working from home and looking for better value outside Toronto. So suddenly someone who might have been thinking about buying a, a $500,000 condo in downtown Toronto and getting maybe 500 square feet of living space could take the same money and go to Beamsville and get themselves a lovely three-bedroom home with a yard Despite the red-hot market across much of southern Ontario, the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation is predicting a steep decline in housing prices across Canada, between 9 and 18 percent by the end of the year due to the pandemic. The organization says Toronto and Hamilton are at moderate risk of a correction.